Street Peeps, I'm here with the legend himself, Mr. Jens Bulver, the first lightweight UFC champion ever. So you came to your first Street Beefs event, man. How was it? It was everything I thought it would be, man. What's cool is, and like I said, without doing the plug, but like I said, I've been streaming these Twitch TV Jens Bulver. I've been streaming beefs for a long time, so it's for the first time, but for the last four or five months, I've been streaming these fights, breaking them down, talking about different things that can work on and stuff like that, but to be able to finally meet everybody, it's huge, man. I'm a fan of you. I'm a fan of what you're doing. Iraqi assassin, like I said, Italian Tyson. I keep naming off name Shogun, and it's going to get worse. Venom, and they're like, you didn't say my name, but everybody <laughs> in here, so it's the one thing is, it was cool to finally be a part of this, man. It's been a long time, and everybody's always asking, well, dude, yeah, you find the UFC, these guys. I love this because I was that kid that walked around with a pair of boxing gloves and boxed other people in their garages, or we would do the, we would do torture wrestling out in the backyard, and I took that and I became a world champion. So one day through all this, if I can get somebody to go through that same route, man, it's a beautiful thing. But I got a brother serving 55 years in prison. It's that one thing: guns down, gloves up, man. It means the world to me because that's what saved my life. The fact that I can go out there and wrestle and have this fighting world. I'm not serving 55 years like he is. You know what I mean? So I saved know it your works. life. It saved my life. 100. Um, what's the name of your documentary, just real quick? Well, the documentary is called Jens Pulver Driven. It's out there on Amazon, um, Hulu, and a few other places. Netflix. And basically, what Netflix? Basically, what, thank you. It was uh, <laughs> it was a promise I made when I was 15 years old. Man, my dad beat me one day in the bathroom. I jumped up and I said, "One day, dude. One day, I'm gonna get so famous. I'm gonna tell everybody about you in the world." where people are broke down the side of the road and people drive on by and through no fault of them, they got their own thing and what they're doing. But for people to sit there and take the time, like I said, what these guys are doing, take the time to watch you and take the time to hear what you have to say. I go, I'm gonna, and so it drove me, drove me to college, drove me to become a world champion. That's drove amazing. me to change my name because his name was Jens Pulver. My name was Jens Pulver and Bob Shamrock of all people. I go, man, I want to be a doubt. I want to be Jens Shamrock. He goes, now he goes, how about you just change your name? You own that. Change what it means. That's, right. That's what I did. Went out there to change You it. sure did, bro. Right. Hey, man, we're honored to have you. Yeah, I'm part of this family. This is one thing I want to say. Thank you so much for having me here. I love this, man. Watching you guys, the idea again behind it. Guns down, gloves up. I just remember that growing up. And so to see you guys do this, the one thing is I've been going through that stream. And anybody out there watching, if you ever want to go to Twitch TV, Jens Pulver, I probably broke down your fights because I know that maybe I'm hoping one day you'll see it and we're working technique-wise. But for you to have that and that burning desire and to be able to give you that drive to keep your ass out of trouble, yes. that's what I love about this. This is a fight club. And the one thing that blew me away the more I watched, I go, look, they keep coming back and they're smiling and they're loving it. So it's giving it. You're lucky because when I do jump in on this, if y'all still in school, we're going with GPAs next. You gotta at least have that 2.8. You like can't that. compete. That's like me that. in wrestling. Before you know it, man, that's the irony though. Is I needed that 2.8 to wrestle to be eligible in high school, and I got a full ride to Boise State to be eligible in college. I needed that 2.8. Before you know it, I got a college degree. That's hey, that's just because I wanted to wrestle. Well. So that's the one thing I'd love for this is for all you youngsters. You want to do this? I want to see that 3.0. We'll raise the bar a little bit or something. That's you know right. what I mean? But we're hey. getting there. Brother, we're glad Thank to have you. Thank you very much. Man. Thank you. Appreciate you having me. Little Thank you. Guys Thank you. All right, where's my guy from Canada real quick? Come on in. <laughs> well, I'm I, lunatic, oh, yes, in <laughs> Canada too. Okay, y'all, we're back one more time with a fighter named Lunatic. Came all the way from Canada. Now, we had another fighter traveled all the way uh, from Belgium, I believe. Um, and then now you came from Canada. What made you want to drive or travel all the way from Canada to fight in Virginia? Basically, I love street thieves and uh, face. I respect you. You're pretty much a hero to me for creating what you've created. You're saving lives. Thank you. Jen Kobler is a legend also. He was a big motivation. I've seen his DVD driven. Awesome. And um, it's fighting. I love the guns down, gloves up. And so you had, you had a rough fight that. today, by the way. Yes, um, I did. But you yes, got up, you, you, you came back too, you stayed here to do your interview. Will we yeah. see you back? We hope so. <laughs> we hope so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I know it's a long trip. Oh, yeah. but I got some training to do, but I'll be back. Well, you fought a pretty bad dude. Let's I just be clear. That. He was yeah. thrown in the ring with, with, with Leo, his first fight. So that's that's a tough, tough fight. So, yes. hey, we were blessed to have you, man. Thank you so yes. much. Thanks for the opportunity. Travel safe. Love it. Hope Thank you come you. back. Peace, y'all.
Street Beats, what's up? I'm here with the crew from Maryland. Uh, you guys recognize this dude, Italian Tyson. He had took a, a brief hiatus from Street Beats, but uh, you know, the man's young. Nobody can take that from him. He's a good fighter, a great fighter. You've seen his performance today. Uh, glad to have you back, man. Where, how's things? All love. All How's love. everything been, man? I've been training. I've been in the gym. I've been running five miles every day. I've been waiting for my comeback. And tonight was the night. Tonight was the night I had to put on a show. There's a lot of people on YouTube that's been asking for you, man. You got a lot of supporters. <laughs> a lot of people came to me and said, dude, you need to bring Tyson back. And we're glad to have you back. Uh, your crew reached out as well. Um, we, you know, <laughs> shit happens. Shit happens. So all water under the bridge. That's right. Under the bridge. Big shit is that. Hey, uh, so we got, we got Brendan and we got my man here. Uh, several of you guys have fought before. Of course, Ox isn't here. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, Nighttime Guru as well. So, we hoping to have you guys back several times. Oh, you know we here. Nasty performance today, for real. Everybody give some love to Tyson and his crew, y'all. Shout out, Mary. Street Beefs, I'm here with, to me, the best story of the day. I, I don't care. Um, fight of the day. Fight, uh, well, he didn't. He, he should have got fight of the day, too. The only reason he didn't is because Nighttime Guru fought three times. Um, but, man, just amazing. Um, I, I'm going to give you a moment of honesty. When you first walked up, I said, this guy's older. Um, we've had some bad experiences with older fighters, yeah. so I was worried. And you told me you had experience. Well, by damn, you proved it. Yeah. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your experience? Well, I did I like nine tough man type fights and uh, just been a boatload of training over the years and sparred with any old brick laying hillbilly I could come up with. <laughs> and, uh, if you, after you get bounced you know, a few thousand times, you start, you kind of start figuring out how to do it, and I'm, I was gifted with being hard-headed. That's hard right. Very well, you're hard-handed, too. Well, I, <laughs> yeah. How old are you? 58. Be 59 a couple of months. Each other high. Hey, high. the next Live. time one of you people out there tell me you're 45 and too old to train, I'm just going to play his video on repeat, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Hey, brother, we were glad to have you, man. We hope you come back. Well, I know your name's Bucket List, but I hope you didn't scratch us off your list yet. Well, I, you know, I was I was hoping to get an MMA match in, possibly, but, uh, okay. but you know, at the same time. Cause, cause, I, now, I'm still a little one-on-one -on, -one on that, but I, I'm still hard to deal with it. Hey, listen, you, you've earned it. So we look forward to having you back. All right. Take care, my friend. All right, thanks a lot. Yep. Okay, we're back. I want to just real quick, the winner of our Street Beast performance of the day, quit bitching boxing. You see he's already got the shirt on. Um, also got his hoodie um, and his hand wraps by quit bitching. Uh, looks really cool. Hey, quitbitching.com. Go check it out. Um, this guy won this for three fights in a day. Um, I'm motivated. <laughs> oh, he got the hat too. I thought there was four items. <laughs> hey, man, great stuff. Look, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't want to fight him three. To, uh, let him fight three times, but he persisted and he proved that he earned it. So, thank you, thank congratulations you. on thank performance you. of the thank day. You, Chris. I appreciate you. All right, Shout man. Out Street Beats. Hey, get one Probably picture. Probably in the access. Don't let you pass on. You. Hey, <laughs>